All right, good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker Online class. Today we'll be talking about integration by partial fraction. Integration by partial fraction, okay? Integration by partial fraction. Now, partial fraction. Now, if you have not watched my video on partial fraction, please do that so that you will know how to resolve uh, a rational function into partial fraction. Now, I have this question that said uh, x plus 1 all over um, x squared minus 3x plus 2 the x. Now, on a normal, when we have um, a quotient like this in integration, the first thing you have to do is differentiate the denominator to know if you get the numerator. If you get the numerator, your answer is simply lean the denominator but if you look at this if we differentiate this we're having 2x minus 3 it doesn't go anywhere with the numerator so we look for other measures and one of the uh, measures you will look out for is resolving it into a partial fraction so we need to resolve this into a partial fraction i have x plus 1 all over um let's factorize this denominator if i factorize this denominator i'm going to have um x squared minus 3x plus 2 if I factorize, I'm having x and x um, minus 2 minus 1, okay? So I'm going to have um, x minus 1 and x minus 2, okay? So I know you don't understand what I did there. Just do your own normal method of factorization. So I have this. We want to resolve into partial fraction. This denominator is a linear. x minus 1 is a linear. So numerator is going to be a constant. Please go and watch my video on partial fraction plus, uh, this is another linear, x minus 2, denominator, a constant. So, the fastest way to get it is that for A to get A of this type, of this type, this type is called, um, the denominator is linear and distinct. Linear in the sense that the highest power is 1. Distinct in the sense that they are not the same. Okay? So, to get your A is, uh, say, x minus 1 is 0. So, therefore, x will give you 1. Since I've gotten that x is 1, substitute x to be 1 in the left-hand side here. Closing the 1 that is under that a, closing this 1. So I have uh, 1 plus 1. So I'm going to have 1 plus 1 all over 1 minus 2, which is what? Uh, 2 over minus, minus 1, which is what? Minus 2. I have gotten my a to be minus 2, okay? And then to get your b... Your b is equal to the same method again. Say x minus 2, which is the denominator, is equal to 0. So x is what? 2. Substitute x to be 2 in the left-hand side, closing the 1 that is under that b. So I have what? Uh, 2 plus 1 all over 2 minus 1, which is what? 3 over 1, which is a 3. I have gotten my a to be, to, be, uh, to be minus 2 and b to be 3. This is the shortcut. To learn the normal method, go to my video on partial fraction is there x minus 2 so i'm having my a to be minus 2 okay all over x minus 1 plus my b is 3 all over x minus 2 and the mass instead of writing minus 2 plus 3 write the positive step first so i'm having 3 over x minus 2 minus 2 over x minus 3 x minus 1 sorry so what do you do? You now say that this is equal to the integral of, you have resolved this thing into partial fraction and it gave us 3 over x minus 2 minus 2 over x minus 1, all the x. So you can now share it for them. Let us share it for them. Share it for them. You are having, um, share the first one. I'm having, in fact, I'll bring the 3. Uh, okay, let me have the integral of 3 over x minus 2 minus sorry the x minus the integral of 2 over x minus 1 the x so we can bring the 3 outside the integral of 1 over x minus 2 the x minus 2 the integral of 1 over x minus 1 the x now if you notice that if you differentiate the denominator you are getting the numerator so your answer is laying the denominator so my answer here should be what my 3 that is already here, lean the denominator, x minus 2. 
minus the same thing here 2 lin x minus 1 plus in fact i will use lin a constant lin a constant yes because all of them are in lin and lin of a constant is equally a constant so let me use lin a constant so that is just the answer the first method is to resolve it into partial fraction and it will be very easy for you to get the solution please if you don't know how to do partial fraction go to my video on partial fraction so i think i'll solve um, like two more questions then we are good to go okay the next question i'm going to solve here is um, the integral the integral of um Okay. Okay. I'm going to solve the integral of x uh, x squared. The integral of x squared plus one all over x plus two all cube the x. Okay. Now let's resolve into partial fractions. But well, this will really take our time, but let's try. Okay, to resolve this into partial fraction, I'm going to have, um, this is way too much. It's way too much, but let's just do it for doing say Okay, I'm going to have, whenever you have um, linear, but the same, they are the same. Okay, this is x to the power um, x plus 2 times x plus 2 times another x plus 2. So we have to put it as x plus 2 or x power 3. Whenever you have it like this, you start arranging by descending order. Sorry, let's resolve it partially. x, x squared plus 1 all over x plus 2 all cubed is equal to a over x plus 2 all raised to the power that 3 plus b over x plus 2 always to power that 2 plus c over x plus uh, 2 always to power that 1. So this is how we resolve this type into partial fraction. Okay, so if we solve this, how do we solve it? I'm having x squared plus 1 over x plus 2 always to power 3 is equal to the LCM of everything is x plus 3 or uh, x plus 2 or raised to power 3. Now, this one divided by this one is 1. 1 times this is a plus this one divided by this is what? x plus 2 times this. I'm having b into x plus 2. Okay, plus this one divided by this one. I'm having x plus 2 all squared. So I'm having c into x plus 2 all squared. So denominator cancel denominator. I'm left with. I'm left with uh, x squared plus 1 is equal to a plus, this time this I'm having um, bx plus 2b plus c into, square the first one, x squared, multiply the first one and the second one, double it, 2x, square the last one, plus 4, so, which will now be what, x squared plus 1 is equal to, a plus bx plus 2b plus cx squared plus 2cx plus um, 4c. Okay, now once you are done opening the bracket, the next thing you will do is, um, is to compare. Let us compare. By comparison, I'm having that, um, I'm having that everybody with x squared, which is cx squared, is equal to what? x squared. So x squared, take care of x squared. Therefore, c is 1. I have gotten my c. Everybody without x, and uh, with x, not x squared now, but x, which is what? bx plus 2cx is equal to the x in the left hand side. But there's no x in the left hand side. So I'm going to say 0x. So x cancel out. I'm seeing that b plus 2c is equal to what? 0. But I've gotten c. So b plus 2 times 1, 2 brackets 1, is equal to 0. Therefore, b is equal to what? Minus 2. Because when this goes, I have minus 2. Now, to get the next one is what? Anybody without x at all, which is what? A, uh, 
a plus 2b plus 4c is equal to the one without a, a, x in the left hand side, which is 1. So let us substitute. I'm having that a plus 2 bracket minus 2 plus 4 bracket uh, 1 is equal to 1. So this and this is gone. Minus 4 plus 4 gone. So I'm seeing that a is 1. So since you have gotten that a is 1, so this means that a is 1. 1 over x plus 3. x plus 2. All raised to power 3. Plus, my b is okay, minus. Plus and minus is minus. Minus 2 all over uh, s plus 2 all squared. Plus 1. C is 1. 1 all over x plus 2 all 1. So, you will now come here and put the integral of each of them. So, I'll say this is equal to the integration of the first one. In fact, I'll write it as x minus plus 2 all raised to power 3, the x, plus the next one, the integral of uh, x plus, sorry, minus. In fact, I'll put the two outside. Bring the two outside, so I'm having x all raised to power minus 2, according to indices. It's supposed to be 1 over. So to remove that 1 over, you put minus in the power, okay, plus the integral of 1 over x plus 2 all raised to power 1 the x. Why didn't I do this one to be raised to power minus 1? Because I know that if I differentiate the denominator, I'm having the numerator. My answer is laying the denominator. So that is why I didn't do that for that. So to get your answer is simply let's go down. Integration said x plus 2 all raised to power what? Minus 3 plus 1 all over minus 3 plus 1. Add 1 to the power. And remove one from and, and divide by the power. So minus two into uh, x plus two all raised to power what? Minus two plus one all over minus two plus one. Why this one is simply uh, lean the denominator which is x plus two then plus a constant. So what do we have now? We have it finally uh, x plus two all raised to power what? Minus 2 all over minus 2 minus x plus 2 all raised to power minus 1 all over minus 1 plus lane x plus 2 then plus a constant. So minus minus is making this one plus. So but let me start with the one with plus. So if I start with the one with plus, which is this one, because minus minus is plus, I'm having to remove 1 over. I'm having 1 over x plus 2. To remove minus, it will become 1 over. Or you write it that way. Anyone would you like. Let's write it this way. x plus 2. All raised to power minus 1. Then minus plus is minus. So minus x plus 2. All raised to power minus 2. Then plus lane x plus 2. Then plus a constant. That is the result. So thank you very much for watching. So anyone you cannot... If you, if you differentiate the denominator, you are not getting the numerator. Try to resolve it into partial fraction before you get the answer. I really appreciate it.